In this problem, we need to solve this logarithmic equation here. And to solve logarithmic equations, we have to look at each term and decide if each term is a log or there's a term that is not a log. So if we look at this equation, we have the common log of x minus 9 is 1 minus the common log of x. So I have two log expressions and I have one number. So this is the type of log equation where not every single term is a log. And the way we want to solve those is we want to get all our logs on one side. So I'm going to write my equation again. The common log of x minus 9 is 1 minus the common log of x. So the first thing I'm going to have to do is add the common log of x to both sides. So I'm going to add the common log of x to both sides. As you can see, those will add up to 0. And on the left-hand side, we're going to have the common log of x minus 9 plus the common log of x equals 1. So that's my first goal, is I need all my log terms on one side, everybody else on the other. Now I have to combine these two logarithms. And hopefully you remember the pro property of logs that says log to the base b of m plus log to the base b of n. If I add two logs with the same base together, I get log to the base b of m times n. Add the logs it turns into the log of a product. So over on this side, I'm adding these two logs. They have a 1 in front of them, so it looks just like this. Are my bases the same? Yes, they're both common logs, the base of 10. So I'm going to land up with the common log of the quantity x minus 9 times x. So all I'm doing at this step is taking my two arguments and multiplying them together. I can simplify this a little bit by distributing the x into here. So I will get the common log of x squared minus 9x equals 1. Because remember, just x times x is x squared, x times negative 9 is negative 9x. Now remember, this is a common log. Its base is 10, that we're normally too efficient to write. So I'm just going to put my base here. Because now we need to turn into exponential form. So remember, if I have log to the base b of x equals y, in exponential form, that is b to the y equals x. So in this case, what's my base? My base is 10 raised to the first power equals x squared minus 9x. So all I've done is use this property. 10 raised to the first power has to equal x squared minus 9x. Well, what is 10 raised to the first power? It's just 10. So it's x squared minus 9. Now, what type of equation do I have? Degree 2, quadratic equation. I want everything on one side, 0 on the other. So I think I'm going to subtract 10 from both sides. So I get x squared minus 9x minus 10 equals 0. And then what do we do? Either factor it or use the quadratic formula. Hopefully this one will factor. Two numbers that multiply to x squared, it's going to be just an x and an x. Then they multiply to a negative. That means these two signs have to be opposite. So one has to be positive, one has to be negative. Two numbers that multiply to negative 10 and add to negative 9. I think that has to be negative 10 and positive 1. You can quickly check it by falling x squared, negative 10x plus 1x, negative 9x, and negative 10. 
Okay, two factors multiplied together equals zero. Set each of them equal to zero. So if x plus one is zero, subtract one from both sides, you get x equals negative one. x minus 10 equals zero. Add 10 to both sides, you get x equals 10. Now, am I done? Remember, this was a logarithmic equation. Can we get extraneous solutions with logarithmic equations? Yes. So you must check for extraneous solutions. But the only thing you have to check is that the solution you have makes the arguments of each of the logs positive. So let's just check x equals negative 1. So I have the common log of, I'm putting negative 1 in here, negative 1 minus 9. Is that a positive number? No, it's negative. That means x equals negative 1 is extraneous. I don't need to check any of the rest of that problem. So now let's check x equals 10. Plug it into the original equation, the common log of 10 minus 9, because remember I'm put, going to put a 10 here and a 10 over there. Is that a positive number? 10 minus 9 is definitely positive. Equals 1 minus the common log of 10. Is 10 a positive number? Yes, I have checked for extraneous solutions. I know negative 1 is extraneous, but 10 is not extraneous. So 10 is my solution. So let's look at our answers. There's 10, so it looks like my answer is going to be A. Let's just check our other answers. Notice one of the answers is negative 1 and 10. So if we hadn't have checked for extraneous solutions down here, we would have picked this and got the wrong answer. This one, negative 10 and 1, no, it has the signs different, and definitely not negative 10. So what is our answer? Our answer is A.